Hello everyone, my name is Alex, welcome back to another episode of Let's Check Out Some iPad. Today I bring you Nutty Fluffies. Now, you're probably thinking, well that sounds some like some kind of uh, social sim game where you grow cats, or uh, or some kind of match three game where you've got to you know match the pigs with the dogs and so forth and so on. You'd actually be incorrect, it's uh, a physics based theme park ride, a roller coaster game pretty much. Um, you control the uh, the weight of the uh, roller coaster in the air. Uh, now, what's probably special to note about this is that it's brought to you by Red Link Studios. Red Links uh, and Ubisoft uh, have teamed up to bring you this, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, the physics aren't exactly realistic, but um, well, let's get into it anyway, and you'll see for yourself. Um, now, there's various worlds, uh, and each world sort of introduces a new uh, a new element. Um, so your standard roller coaster here um, is a wooden wooden roller coaster, very uh, classic Coney Island style. Um, as you can see, uh, my my coaster down the bottom has ten carts. Now I'm going to fill it up with uh, mice. Each one of those animals has a, a very special property, and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, now all you do is uh, slide left and right to uh, control the speed of the craft of the of the coaster now you can control it in the air as well and that's where things get pretty fun um, so as you'll see at the top of this hill I get a bit of air and I pull back and oops we lost one hey we might be able to pick him up again though nope we missed him anyway <laughs> as you can see we're collecting hearts hearts are more for points than currency uh, the currency is of course coins um, now, when you complete a level, uh, you're actually given uh, the opportunity to repeat it, except your coaster grows. So you start off with four, uh, eventually you'll have five, up to ten. Ten is the maximum, and you replay just to uh, to get more coins. Um, so let's do one of the more wild levels here. Um, so this guy, I've completed it uh, a couple of times already, so I've already got six carts. Now, uh, moving along. This is, uh, this is sort of our, our screen where we choose what we want uh, to fill the carts with. So I can add a cart for 15 coins. Um, as you can see, I've only got 35, so I'm not going to do that. And that will just let me add an animal to that, and we'll potentially be able to take that animal to the end. Uh, and then once we're at the end, of course, uh, that animal will give us various stats. So let's check it out. So the free ones that I've been using, the mice, um, they give you two hearts at the finish line. Uh, it's not it's not very big bonus at all compared to some of the other animals uh, and I've only played about you know 40% of the game so there's still a lot more to check out um, the cat uh, gives you extra hearts going downhill and eight hearts at the finish now that's each cat so if you've got a 10 long coaster uh, you would get uh, an extra 80 hearts at the end for taking all the cats if you make them if you get them there which is not always easy uh, the dog gives you extra hearts from jumps and eight hearts at the finish. The pig, uh, extra hearts from bumps and ten hearts at the finish. And the elephant, which is the best one I've unlocked so far, extra hearts from slopes and jumps and twelve hearts at the finish line. Um, but like I said, I don't want to spend my coins at the moment because I'm trying to save up to unlock extra levels. Um, so let's continue here. Now, each uh, sometimes they, they'll introduce new coaster features. So in this case, we've got uh, a jet-powered coaster, which... Uh, for, for going uh, along big loops like this is very, very good. Uh, as you can see, the coaster is actually falling apart a little bit. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to crash horribly right now. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, perhaps a little bit less speed this time. So this is this is my first kind of gripe with this. Um, as you can see, we're, we're taken back to this screen and it starts off with uh, the selection panel pushed all the way to the left, meaning that uh, it gives me the options to purchase first before we go back to my free ones. Um, now, a lot of you are th probably thinking, what's the big deal? Well, that's kind of uh, subconsciously pushing the user into spending coins, um, and or accidentally as well. Um, now, of course, you all know my stance on in-app purchases, uh, which this game has. Um, of course, you don't have to you don't have to buy them, but um, it um, yeah, I, it, it just seems a little bit predatory to me. Um, that was actually pretty well done. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so we start off with the, are you enjoying it? Yes, I am enjoying the game. However, I'm not going to vote for you in the App Store. Um, the, the presentation is actually quite nice. The physics, a little bit on the wild side. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense, especially controlling the, um, the craft in the air, but um, it's certainly not bad. I'm just going to continue. Well, see, here we go. Empty cart, please purchase a fluffy for every cart. So it's telling me once again that I need to purchase something. But I am, again, going to use the free one. And uh, we'll continue on. Uh, it does seem to me like you can get full enjoyment out of this game without having to, to, to buy the uh, in-app purchases. Um, of course, uh, it will take you longer. And that's the whole point. Oh, goodness. No, no, no. Swing back a bit. Oh, my goodness. Wow. There we go. Yeah, not, another, not another bad level at all. Alright, so as you can see, I earned uh, five coins from that run. Five coins per run. Um, at the moment, I need 75 coins per... Uh, to unlock a stage. And, and it started off at around 50, I think. I can't, can't remember exactly, but... Um, let me show you one of the, the next worlds. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to Metal Mayhems. Now, as you can see, uh, you need more coins to unlock. So I need 75. I'm not quite there yet, but uh, I can show you uh, this one here, which is actually pretty cool. So this one relies on magnet-based uh, carts. So again, we're going to fill up our craft here. Uh, I'm going to move them along. And... Oh, what's this? As you can see, you needed the magnet to, uh, to maintain... Uh, the angle there. This is what I was talking about with the physics. It's, um, I mean, it's it's more fun than anything else. Uh, it's not, it's not like trials. It's not, uh, oh no. Wow, that was actually very lucky. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, it's quite a fun game. Uh, it's, it's not to be taken seriously. It's, the addictive factor isn't there like Punch Quest and, and other ty types of games where you can just have really short bursts. This seems like you need to, even though the levels are short, you still need to invest a little bit more of a commitment, I feel. I know that sounds weird, but um, I mean, you play it and you'll, you'll see see what I mean. Like Punch Quest, you can play a game for, for two minutes and then be done. This, after you've completed a level, you don't get the same satisfaction uh, is, is probably more my point. Um, now. As you can see, uh, the in-app purchases are there. Uh, it, it popped up with a screen before and said, uh, you get double the amount of coins, but it's only available now. And, it, and, and then it went away, and then now it's it's not there again. So that offer, it, it's really, really... It's, I think it's somewhat preying on people. Again, I'm not going to get into it too much with the in-app purchases. You know how I feel about it. Um, it's not bad. Now, it does have also a quest system, kind of like Jetpack Joyride. Uh, this one, I believe. Nope, oh, that's the, uh, thank you. Where was it? This one. Here we go. Um, so, as you can see, finish the last metal ride and you get a 40 coin bonus and over 500 hearts, which is actually quite difficult. Uh, 40 uh, coins, drop 8 fluffies and drive to the finish. That's a fun one. Uh, you have to actually intentionally bump them off uh, and then finish the, the game still uh, and finish the last loop ride. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Once you complete a mission, you get the coins and then it replaces it with a different mission. Um, but all in all, pretty fun. Not bad, I'll put the description below, uh, definitely check it out, and uh, I will catch you next time folks, thanks very much, this has been Nutty Fluffies on another episode of Let's Check Out Some iPad, later.